Hello Virgos, this is Chad from House of Virgo. Welcome back to my channel. Just kidding, it's Kelly, personal joke. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Keep in mind, this is a general love reading. Some messages may or may not be for you. This is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. All right, you guys. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I'm back to my normal voice today. Um, so, yeah, we're going to take a look at the rest of May to see what love messages come out here for you. Also, a quick announcement. Um, I will be opening up some slots for anybody new who wants to get a reading. Okay, so just go over to my booking site. The link is in the description box below this video. Okay, moonpytarot.com and check out and see what availability I have. And if you're new, I will take on um, hmm, some new some new clients. Virgo, um, somebody is deeply heartbroken about a breakup or something they're feeling lost or trying to heal. Um, yeah, totally. Heartbreak, heartbroken and a healing heart here. Feeling lost sad deeply hurt sad about a separation or a breakup healing from a heartbreak freedom from toxic relationship or addiction okay is that you virgo trying to heal um from trying to heal a broken heart okay that's that's what i feel like is going on here i mean it's pretty obvious oh you've got the snake competition enemy clever malicious looking over the shoulder of the other woman Hmm. Okay, Virgo, either you are healing from a third party situation with a snake, could be an actual, the Chinese sign, the snake, um, hmm. maybe you were the other woman, um, hmm. Give me a second here. I'm getting a couple different messages now. I'm trying to download here. What the heck? Ooh. Wow. The axe. Breakup. Separation. Stopping the pattern. Silent treatment. Abandonment. Um, okay, Virgo. Let me just try to see if I can give you what I think is going on here. Because I don't know why my, my, my um, brain coils are tied up in knots here. <laughs> Um, this is no laughing matter. Um, somebody has ended something because there was a third party. Or someone chose another person over another per over someone else. And that led to abandonment. Okay, so there's a feeling of um, hurt, pain, trying to heal that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, that might be you. There, there, for someone here might be feeling abandoned by somebody else who chose a third person, okay? And if that happened to you, I'm very sorry. My, um, my blessings to you for healing. Let me see here. Okay. You must have found something out. Photograph. That showed up yesterday, too. Um, you must have found something out or you saw a picture or something... You saw something and it, um, yeah, it rocked you. But the good news is, Virgo, that um, you're definitely healing. Okay, you, so uh, uh, you know, and if you're not, try to try to you know get into that energy as best as you can. I know that that's not an easy thing to. Um, it's hard to be hopeful it's hard to stay positive after somebody abandoned you in some way for another person especially um <clears throat> if they just ghosted or you know gave you the silent treatment and you found out or you saw or you see that there there was somebody else like that's hard virgo just be kind to yourself man just self-care cry if you have to cry scream if you have to scream put on some country music get in your car and just let it all out but this is this is tough and you know virgo it it passes it does time does heal things okay and i just feel like i need to tell you that and you know what i really feel like 
the way this message is starting out there's a real there's a real strong indication here Virgo that who and I don't know specifically who this is for but I feel like this the biggest message that I'm getting with this whole thing here is um be kind to yourself Virgo um, don't blame yourself someone makes you're not in charge of other people's decisions and the things that they do and um if someone makes a decision to abandon or end a relationship or give this well even if it's not it, this is a ghosting abandonment kind of situation so this isn't even a uh, mutual split this is kind of like you know someone who just falls off the face of the earth and then you think they're dead or something you hear nothing and the next thing you know you see that they're they've got somebody else okay um i feel like the message here for for whoever is dealing with this right now is this, it's not your fault okay it's not your fault that somebody chose somebody else that is their decision that's the decision that they made and they could have made another decision they could have made a decision to try to work things out with you but they didn't and that's that that reflects on who they are as a person okay that reflects them and you are not in charge of that and you are not in control of that and it is also you you don't you shouldn't be blamed and you shouldn't take credit for it either okay so part of that healing uh, i feel like is for you to try to get yourself as best as you can into accepting the situation for what it is looking at the evidence and saying okay this is this this is the situation it broke me but um i can come back from this okay um and that's a that's a tough message to give and i'm so sorry i just i just i just want to tell you virgo i'm so sorry if you're going through that that is that is very hard to deal with and um you know my prayers and blessings are there for you if you're feeling that because that that is that's the equivalent pretty much of like somebody passing away that that is very very difficult and uh you know if you're here in the chat and that's happening to you we're all here and um you're loved virgo okay keep coming back here all right so i'm gonna leave that there and kind of get into more messages here and see what else is showing up here okay you've got a love call virgo someone's expressing love a message of love thinking of you and letting you know okay and you've also got wedding rings union wedding married soul connection eternal love everlasting promise so for those of you who are just uh, the scenario i just gave you um there is somebody coming here to uh reaching out to support you you're going to be hearing from people um or a particular person giving you support um in a situation that has to do with marriage where there was an everlasting promise and somebody changed their mind about that you know broke a promise okay but i also want to say that for those of you who are going through this situation right now um Try not to focus on new love at this time. Just focus on self-love, okay? Heal before you deal again, Virgo. If you're going through this, do not get yourself under somebody else to make the past person go away because that's only a temporary fix, okay? You really got to, like, give yourself time to heal and take that time to yourself. Cultivate that relationship with spirit um, and get yourself back. You got to recover, okay? So for those of you who are not going through that situation or you are already you've accepted it and you've healed and you've moved on you do have somebody coming in here um inviting you to a wedding okay or calling to ask you if you know anything about wedding rings now we've got twin flame ask you if you know anything about wedding rings or um <laughs> Virgo. Uh, twin flame okay all right what's going on i feel like this is going to be very predictive more than therapeutic all right tell us tell virgo what's going on your twin flame's calling um so i want to tell you virgo if you were that person in the former scenario and uh you were abandoned by somebody that's not your twin flame no that might be if anything a karmic or just you know very toxic situation um that might have been a blessing in disguise, Virgo. You might be um, dropping tears at this time, 
but that ending might have been um, that rejection might have been God's protection because you've got a twin flame showing up here okay and we'll get into that even more um, especially if you you know if you've got a twin flame showing up you're confused wait house of Virgo I thought that person I was with before was my twin flame not if they're abusive sorry um, no don't gaslight yourself no you, this twin flame connection that's showing up here is the yin this is the yin to your yang and if you don't want to call it twin flame don't call it twin flame just take a look you meet somebody or you connect with someone who's the yin to your yang there's zen balance union duality coupling complementing each other i mean this is really um beautiful okay this is beautiful oh gosh you've got engagement ring virgo honestly with this reading seriously yes okay you're coming into union or soul union with a partner with someone going forward maybe in may maybe going forward past that but um there's something here to do about a ring i'm just telling you <laughs> there's something here to do about a ring like i said either some you're either getting in, invited to a wedding in may or whenever sometime this year but you could also have somebody reaching out to you asking you about rings it could be somebody you start dating and they're just kind of like trying to get your feel for you know what size ring you wear or um if you are if you wear wedding wedding bands or engagement rings or maybe somebody might be hinting it up to you there's a little bit of hinting going on here okay but you're definitely going to get a love call okay someone expressing their love to you uh, let me see. <laughs> All right, let's get into, you know what? Let me do the um, romance angels. All right, what else does Virgo need to know here? Okay, someone's very attracted to you. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. All right, Virgo. Virgo's out there like sniffing the flowers, enjoying the aroma of the roses, the fragrance, um, getting in touch with their senses. Okay, and while you're doing that, doing your own thing, Virgo, you're attracting someone to you, someone that you can trust, or the situation. Um, your faith is bringing in a situation to you where you feel safe is what I'm hearing. Okay, um, your faith in yourself, you're doing your own thing, you're living your best life. Okay, so I see you getting to know somebody, definitely, come, going forward. As you reveal your internal, I'm sorry, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So this is a beautiful reading, okay? This is something where I feel like you're connecting with someone um, in May. And there's a strong attraction okay anyway let's get into the rest of this reading let's get into the tower ta tarot portion okay wow the fool that's aquarius energy there's definitely a new beginning um you could be connecting with an aquarius okay no more struggle virgo freeing yourself from a poverty mindset there's no more struggle here okay virgo and it feels like freeing yourself from codependency issues freeing yourself from feeling broke busted and disgusted feeling uh freeing yourself from um a sense of having to lean on like the blind leading the blind you relying on someone else in your life who is walking in the darkness too freeing yourself to get out in the sun to get out in the light you know um kind of like just getting your hope back you've got a new path new beginnings in front of you here virgo and i feel like um you need to maybe if you feel kind of like nah it's the same thing day after day well you're being negative right um go out and find or create those new paths you know okay yeah look at freeing your look at you freeing yourself from this like victim mentality if you were in that or just this isolation or thinking that you're stuck or that you're trapped in something and you're not okay and if you're if, if, or just not even freeing yourself from it but then there, there's like a reprieve that comes virgo you get like this <sighs> breath of fresh air like you can breathe your lungs open up you know you you've got this there's your card there you've got this ability like you get some grace is what i feel like is happening here you you get god sees you 
God knows the trouble you've been in. And he's going to make things right for you, Virgo. I mean, I know that's a little bit of a prosperity preaching there. And I know sometimes we do that here in our tower readings, but that is the truth. Okay, whether you, you know, your faith just needs to be there. When you have faith and you trust that things can be better for you, in comes that love. In comes that your other half, the one that was meant to be. Maybe the last person was just supposed to be a lesson for you. Maybe the last person was a rebound from someone before that. You know, it, it, look, I'm telling you, Virgo, you've got the lovers. There's definitely love coming. Your partner, your person, the love of your life. Uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aquarius, could be Gemini, um, whomever it is. I just feel like... It, this so uh, so I have to kind of go to the twin flame right and I don't usually want to I don't usually do the whole twin flame thing but this is like flesh of my flesh bone of my bones you know this this card does represent Adam and Eve right and you know you know the story if you know the story of Adam and Eve like like she was taken from him and and created like these two are like the first the only the omega they are um, the beginning. They are the two people who started together. Um, this is like your other half. That's what I feel. And if anybody has a problem with me talking about Adam and Eve, I mean, the, the tarot cards have a tremendous amount of biblical illustration in it. So if you want to deny it, then just click off because I'm not going to be that reader for you. Okay, this here is all about the first, you know, I don't know if that person you were with before, um, for sure was a lesson for you, it might have been, but it might have also just been something that you needed to um, go through. Not that you need to go through pain, I don't feel like God puts you through pain, because I do feel like we have our own free will. And I do feel like you chose that person and they chose you and it's whatever happened, happened, you know, but I feel like I feel like you're being given grace and there's some kind of a blessing coming in here for you, okay? And the only thing is that if you know the story of Adam and Eve, and you had the, the, you had the lovers yesterday, you know, just remember, Eve is very, you know, she, look at her, okay, I just want to show you, not that, not that this is Eve, but I just want to show this woman, okay, and whether you're male or, or feminine or masculine, it doesn't matter. This person here is looking up. She's looking up to the angel. This is her guidance. The sun represents the sun god Ra. It represents um, God in itself. It represents the light. She looks to the spirit for guidance. And she's got temptation all around her, right behind her. That snake can be very tempting. And he is sneaking up, right? But as long as she keeps her eye on um, the angels on God's presence, the supernatural, the higher spirit, higher power, she will be protected from the, this evil that surrounds her, that's behind her. She just like, don't look at the snake. I feel like it's a Medusa thing or you will turn to stone. Do not, don't look back. That's the message I'm getting. Do not look back. Have faith and trust that what's meant for you will not pass you by and it will come for you. Look, Ace of Cups, that's the blessing, okay? Even the Hanged Man, that's a very spiritual card. That's Piscean energy, you know? Here's the offering here. Here's redemption. Here's my cup, with, my cup runneth over, okay? So I feel, Virgo, and even with the Dove of Peace, I feel like, you know, you can't give up your faith. I don't know so much about hope, I guess, but don't give up in, in faith. Keep your faith strong. Um, positive thinking brings positive results. Okay, Virgo. Uh, let's see. Tell, tell Virgo a little bit about who's coming in here for Virgo. Who's coming in for Virgo in May. Who's coming in here for Virgo in May? Okay. So I've got the Eight of Cups. And the Seven of Wands. Hmm. Got the P 
page of cups and the king of cups okay well you definitely have a, a in answer to the question the spirit is showing you the king of cups so you have a king of cups showing up here okay uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. Now, the, the King of Cups is very kind, is kind to others, full of empathy. King of Cups is someone who is tremendously supportive, tolerant, nurturing, healing, and very wise. And King of Cups is um, very intelligent as well, has a lot of um, knowledge. King of Cups seeks to understand others. King of Cups seeks to connect with others on a very emotional level. Not very, just on an emotional level, more so than anything. King of Cups is all about love and compassion and peace. Um, the King of Cups is also very protective, maybe even overprotective at times. And um, loves to give love. Loves to um, loves to be in love. Loves to love. King of Cups is very watery, <laughs> very watery, very fluid. Um, tremendous emotional emotional intellect, high emotional IQ, is what I was trying to say about the wisdom part. And this King of Cups um, is always on a quest. Um, <clears throat> for more emotional knowledge, okay? But is also very protective and territorial in a lot of ways. Can be a bit defensive at times. Um, and may get a little jealous at times um, because, well, not jealous. I'd say more territorial um, because they want to protect what they the, when they've found someone for their heart you know which would be you um they may get a little bit territorial because they know the value and want to protect it's kind of it's kind of if like you have a very precious diamond and you want to protect that right because of its worth and its value and its uniqueness okay and and this is how this king of cups shows up here okay um but the king of cups is always searching in their life for that ninth cup they're they're always on a, a a track a journey of good health um always on a track of abundance even material abundance and trying to make their wishes come true so they're always on this journey of and i feel like when this king of cups connects with you um they're 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 actually connecting while seeking that ninth cup and the nine always represents completion. This king of cups has come to the end of their journey and their search. They know it in their heart when they connect with you. And they have no need to look any further since, or, or no further from that from this time, okay? Um, the king of cups is seeking for their final resting place in someone's heart and vice versa, okay? And that's who's coming towards you here in this month, okay? Um, what else do I want to say about that? Hmm. I f okay, they just said they'll know that love is real when they meet you, Virgo. They'll know that it's true when they meet you. Okay, so <laughs> Virgo, some of you might be getting a call like, I'm going to marry you, or let's get married. Or let's be together forever. Let's get engaged. I mean, this this whole story almost feels like it feels like something that you know you're watching on the Hallmark Channel. I mean, it's very romantic. We don't have any snow or reindeer, but that's okay. There is definitely um, a beautiful blessing coming in for you, okay? And uh, I don't know, Virgo. I feel like it's just lovely. All right, let me just see. Um, what else can uh, Spirit wants to tell you what else can you know about this King of Cups? Okay, like I said, it could be a, a Pisces, Pisces card, uh, and a, a, a Scorpio here. Okay. 
Uh, why is this death card here? What else is going on? Okay. Yeah, it's the same message. It's an ending. It's over. The, once the Virgo... Now, some of you might already be communicating with this person, okay? You might already know who they are, okay? Uh, masculine or feminine energy. You might already know who they are. And they're done looking. They're no longer looking for love. You are it. You are it for them. Uh, let me see. Whatever that transition, whatever that change, um, end of the journey and ready to have this new beginning with the death card, okay? A rebirth, big changes, big, big, huge changes. Uh, no more dating. Also, they're saying no more uh, flirtatious, fun party times. Virgo, I just, you know, I mean, if you're already connecting with this person, maybe they tell you, like, I knew I was done looking and searching when I found you. I knew that the, it was over for me. I knew that I knew when I met you, or I, I, I just, or they say it to you going forward that, that, that you were my stop. You were the last, you were the ending. You were this, uh, you're going to be the first person for the rest of my life. And the last person that I will, um, uh, spend with, with eternity with here and up above. So, um, yeah, there's like an end to this three of cups energy, which is, you know, it's flirty, fun. It's always my dating card, just point blank period. It's always the dating card. So I, I feel like, you know, this King of Cups has been on a journey. They've, they've, they've had their um, connections with other people. They've done, you know, the, the tired of dating maybe, just getting into this, like, it's just this, I don't know if it's a wake-up call. I mean, the hangman is there, so it's seeing things completely differently. You know, uh, just kind of like different perspective on their life, what they want, and having that wisdom and, you know, having uh, that opportunity to make a sacrifice here by giving their full heart to you. And I feel like, you know, if you're not already experience, experiencing this with someone that you're already connecting with, I do feel like you will be. Okay. And they just said, let's go slow. Let's just take our time. Let's just go slow and, and keep it real. This is, this Knight of Pentacles is my keep it real card. This is like, I'm going to make this offer to you and, and it's going to stick. I'm going to make this, you know, engagement offer or this wedding offer and it's going to stick. And it's not mushy and gushy and overly romantic. It's, it's the real thing. This is like long term. Like this night is not in movement. This night's like, I'm here to stay. I'm making this offer because I'm here to stay and I want to be with you. I mean, it's beautiful, Virgo. It's beautiful. All right, one more card for Virgo. Okay, wow. Got the moon. The deepest, most inner. Uh, this this person, um, gosh. Okay, that's Cancer and Pisces energy. This person... They have the, uh, like these very deep, deep feelings. And, and I don't really feel like this King of Cups reveals their feelings too often. I really don't. I don't feel like they, I mean, maybe minimally, you might need to guess a lot with this person. The King of Cups is not, they don't have that Mercury energy or that air energy of communication. They're not a big communicator. They don't talk, 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 talk. That's not not when it comes to feelings they might um be good with talking ideas um they might be good with talking like about education or they might even be like someone who's a professor or something or a teacher and they're uh, they're talking all day for their job but when it comes to their deepest feelings um the hidden stuff they're not really good at that and not even i don't even want to say good at it it's just not who they are they're just not like that you know um if you need someone in your life to be a a extreme communicator of feelings at all times um that might be a high bar <laughs> to have to uh, get over but i do feel like i can tell you that the king of cups runs with their intuition 
everything is intuitive with them their emotions and their intuition they feel it they feel the vibes they may they might even howl at the moon i don't know they feel, I, don't, I don't know i just got this crazy image of like bark at the moon from ozzy osborne why why is ozzy in my head i don't even know I hope it's not Ozzy Osbourne because he don't look so good nowadays. But this person is, you know, something to do with the moon. I don't know, something here, some kind of connection to the moon. I don't know. Um, okay. All right. Uh, Virgo, I just feel like when you connect with this person, I mean, this is a total, if you're not already, I mean, I got to tell you, whoever they are, whoever they are, Virgo, this is like love at first sight. That's how I feel. And if, if you are already connecting with them, love at first sight has already happened. And now it's just a matter of setting a date, so to speak. Um, and if you haven't connected with them yet, you should be connecting with someone similar to this in May, um, where there is a love at first sight scenario happening here. And you might even be feeling it too, but you know, Virgo, let me just get some messages of love. Okay. I can't. <laughs> Virgo, I can't. I mean, I mean, Spirit wants you to know it's your twin flame. I'm not like, I'm not really trying to push that. Like I said before, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't because because I think it's a rarity, but I also have to say this definitely is a, a divine blessing. I have to say that, okay? It's divine timing. It is a rarity. And it may not happen to every single one of you. I know that, you know, a lot of you watch my, my readings and you listen. Um, and that's okay. It just doesn't mean it won't be later, okay? But for whoever this is for, they sure as hell deserve it don't they after going through something so horrific when it comes to their heart you know I know there's different levels of devastation for all of you some of you have just completely collapsed because of some type of ending and others of you have managed to coast through it um, whatever your situation is the fact that you would even have had to coast through a, a, a difficult situation my heart goes out to you but what God has for you is a blessing and you know, if it's not happening in May, just I do feel like throughout this year, I just heard um, three dates. Uh, the 9th, the 11th, and the 23rd. So I don't know if that's your birth date or if it's in May. They're not being specific. They just told me 9, 11, 23. Okay. Twin Flame. This is a divine counterpart connection. Patience. Everything will unfold in divine timing, Virgo. Spirit is, spirit is dropping some gems today. Let me tell you, everything will unfold in divine timing. Just, Virgo, calm yourself. Calm your emotions. Breathe in. Breathe out. Just be patient. Be calm. Remind yourself think of happy things when you're having a hard time okay get those good feelings back if you need to go on antidepressants that's up to you whatever it is Virgo positive thinking brings positive results especially in romance especially in life okay negative thinking does nothing for you it really doesn't it's okay to counterbalance have a negative thought because you want to kind of, you know, yin and yang counterbalance things. But positive thinking always, re always end up there as your default. Okay. If you got negative thoughts coming in Virgo, notice them, acknowledge them and say to yourself, wow, I was thinking really negatively about that situation. Let me counteract that with something positive. Okay. So we balance out. So we get neutral and then we add more positive things. So you begin to feel more uplifted, right? And do things that uplift you, right, Virgo? Um, but patience. Okay. It's a marathon, not a sprint. I know some of you are getting up there in age. You're like, damn, Kelly. I mean, I'm almost at the end of this marathon. Where is my love? Well, 
you're going to have to talk to God about that because I'm not in charge of who he brings into your life, but I'm just the messenger. Uh, we're going to skip the hidden truth because um, I don't feel like it's needed. Let me get into your Moon Pie Tarot messages. Oh my God. You know what? I, like, I can't. Uh, I'm just, you guys. <laughs> Did you see this flip out? I can't. <laughs> Virgo, that's four times now you basically have twin flame, twin soul, the lovers. <clears throat> <clears throat> I just, I sometimes like, I, I can't, sometimes it just amazes me how it gets confirmed. Twin soul, communicate your love to the divine, 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 three times here. Communicate your love to the divine. Be thankful for this twin soul love. You've been chosen for one another. Even when times are tough. This might be the best reading I think I have ever done. In the six, almost seven years I've been doing tarot card readings. Even when times are tough and seem back and forth, this love is meant to be. It's time to reconcile. Ooh. Okay, I'm just going to leave that right there. Virgo, you know, I like there are times when I'm doing these readings and there are times when I just want to stop, you know, there's times when I'm doing the readings and I, and I just, cause I know a lot of you, you have your struggles, you know, and I know a lot of you hurt and then there are times when I can't even do personal readings because it's so much pain a lot of the time. And, you know, I am not a codependent person. I am not, um, I'm not a great empath. I do have the ability to logic things out and also have empathy at the same time. But there are times when it really gets to me because I know how much you guys, you know, you're here every night and um, you really want to have that, that love partner. Um, and that's what we're all built for, right? We're all created for that, to, for one another. That, that's, that's why men and women were put here on earth, to, to procreate or, or just to be together. It's, you know, there, there's, you know, or I don't know, whatever the, I know things are changing in this day and age, so please don't take offense if I'm not going down gender roles or anything like that. I just, I'm just trying to speak to you in, in ver some very basic terms. You, you know who you are. You don't need me to confirm it for you. But I, I just feel like we all have a twin. We all have someone in our lives or that's made for us, that, that we're built for each other, you know? And to go through life constantly seeking that person or, or, or to, it's, that is when I feel it's the most important to say, you know, I have to trust. And I personally trust God. I always say, you know, um, but whoever you choose, you know, whoever's the, the spirit light or the bright light in your life to just keep trusting in that and having your faith um, and try to stay positive and be patient, divine timing, be patient. Sometimes you have scenarios where God does bring that person, but you push them away or, 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 or we push that person away because we're scared of the blessing sometimes that happens because you just can't don't because we don't feel we deserve someone so angelic or so wonderful we don't feel like we deserve that and and that's you know why yes you do yes you do and sometimes you push someone away and they're gone and and you, you just have to find a way to live with that and you know ask for forgiveness and hope and pray that there will be someone that will understand that you're an imperfect person right and give you another shot. And I feel like this is what's happening for some of you here. You're coming into union at least this year. It might be the 23, might be 2023. Just keep the faith. That's really what I feel. But I know you guys struggle. You know, I know you struggle. And I, I wish that I could just plug in all the information. Like that, what was that 80s movie? Weird Science. I wish I could be the one to just create a person for you. Weird science. Was it weird science? I think it was with Anthony Michael Hall and that 
they built a woman i don't know i wish i could create somebody for you like if i could i'd do that for myself and i'd build a whole community of people <laughs> thank god i don't have those powers because i no, i wouldn't want that i don't have the energy for <laughs> doing that all day but if i could i would you know so i can't so i'm just here trying to bring some hope for you guys and some faith you know that you just can't give up you just have to trust okay i've got a year of the rabbit Year of the horse, year of the monkey, year of the dog, year of the rooster, year of the rat, year of the ox, and year of the goat. I feel like that was so straightforward. How many times am I shuffling these cards and flipping them up right or back right up reverse whatever? That was just beautiful. So either that's you and someone else or it's just you or just them or both of you or none of you take it with a grain of salt okay virgo with that let me see if i can pull up some qualifiers here for you virgo names other messages um yeah so don't forget i'm going to open up some slots um for you guys who are listening who want to get a reading with me and have never gotten a reading before the link is in the description box below please don't email me about how to get a reading i'm not going to respond because i get tons of them and i don't know what else to do i keep trying to tell you guys there's a link in the description box right below this video so when the video ends click back on it and go and read everything underneath there. There's a link to my website. You can book with me. You can also book with Brandy, okay? Um, Casey's on vacation, so he's not gonna be available. Okay, so you've got someone with the initial C. Okay. And uh, definitely um, Mika, Micah, Mika, Mick, Mickey, there's an M-I-C, or M-C, someone's last name might be like McMichael or McHenry, M-I-C, okay, um, hmm, Zach, Zelda, <laughs> Legend of Zelda. Um, all right, I'm seeing a lot of rainbow. I'm seeing a lot of rainbow. A rainbow. <clears throat> that might be significant for someone, a rainbow. You know, you guys almost cried. I could feel myself starting to well up. I'm, I will not cry. I will not cry. I will not cry. Um, uh, someone's name starts with the letter B. And the letter Y just gave me the letter Y. Okay. Okay. All right, now they're giving me a full name here. Hold on. Um, it's the it's initials G and G. Um, now it might be, okay, first I wanna say this. G and G. You might see that somewhere. G and G. G and G. Okay, they're giving me the last name. It sounds like Gorman. G O R M A N. Gorman or Gorham. It's definitely, I can hear the gore part. Gore. Um, and now they're telling me. Oh, uh, Garcia? Or is it. There's this gore gar, gore gar. So they're giving me the vowels now. Okay. <laughs> Why? G E gar gore 
Gu G I G Giga Gig Giga Gigabyte Gig A Gig Okay All right, now they're giving me, hold on. Okay, somebody likes, all right, they're saying Jared, how do I say that? I pronounce that, Jared Deli chocolate? <clears throat> Jared, Gerard Deli chocolate? Okay. Um, uh -huh. Is there a 7G or a 6G network? Um, all right, they're telling me someone was born in 1976. Okay. Also. In 1967. Oh, and they're also giving me the numbers 767. Okay. can't even believe you got the lover's card again like that's five times holy okay and now okay they're just telling me that's weird they're saying use gripe water <laughs> use gripe water i don't know who i'm channeling here use gripe water and um okay and now someone is saying rpg so RPG, RPG, is that, role playing game, RPG, or is it, okay, uh, that just went away, that, just, just that fast that went away, um, yeah, okay, mm, somebody wears purple shirt, wearing a purple shirt I'm just picking up grapes I don't know grapes somebody purple grapes or green maybe green grapes I'm picking up purple grapes and I'm, I'm also picking up someone plays golf uh, maybe it's like in a golf like actual real golf or is this the sport or maybe it's mini golf. It could be mini golf. It's just a little bit of like um, the golf sport. Okay. Playing golf. Okay. All right, Virgo. Let's get into this. So you've got Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Virgo. Like this King of Cups is showing up here hardcore. Don't tax my gig so hardcore, Crustar. Okay, if you know what that's from, <laughs> put it in the chat. <laughs> oh, geez. Or if you know what movie it's from or who said that, feel free. Don't tax my gigs so hardcore, Crestar. All right, I'm losing my brain here. Let me look at these numbers. Okay, someone's 55, someone is 43, someone is 33, 34, 38, 48, and 30. Okay, those, those are the ages that are coming up here. And uh, whoever of you, okay, they just said some of you can't drive 55. Um, they gave me that Sammy Hagar song, but uh, that really is just a message like some of you need to slow down. I know 55 is not generally the speed limit. I think it's 65, but some of you need to slow it down a little bit. You're driving too fast. Holy Okay, September 4th, the 8th, the 9th, the 12th. September 5th, 7th. Also, um, the, <coughs> excuse me, 14th, the 15th, the 18th, and the 17th. We also have August 25th, 24th, and 29th. And um, phone number or last four digits, 4012-1214-5124-8425-7420. Uh, 
Um, and someone was born in 1984. We also have someone who is 45. Um, someone is 41. Okay, and 49. And uh, what other numbers does her go in? Okay. I'm going to take these right in order specifically. One, nine, three, nine, four. Okay. One, nine, three, nine, four. I didn't record in 4K tonight. Um, so if it looks a little choppy, sorry about that. All right. Let me see. Got a charm for you guys. I know you love the charms. What the? Wow. This isn't a charm, but it was stuck here in my, um, my little charm thing. Moon rock? I don't know what this is. Does anybody know what that is? Um, I'm terrible with names. Is it malachite? I don't know. Um, if anybody knows what that is, or you're just looking at this, like, please say in the chat if you know what it is. Are you looking at this and you know exactly what this is? Um, this is a message for you. I don't know what to call it. <laughs> I know it's, I know it's something. Um, granite, maybe. If it's granite, maybe somebody does something with art or graphite or granite or granite countertops. Something with granite or graphite. Okay, let me get your other charms here. Okay, so we definitely have someone here who works in construction <laughs> or so, works with tools. Let me just say that. Okay, somebody works with tools. Let me get the card so you can see it. I need like a little card with stickies so that they'll just stay. Somebody works with tools or, or they do that for a living or you're working with tools, you're connected. There's also a fireman. Um, some of you are going to be walking through a building and see someone who's a fireman and they are um, trying to work. They're doing something, maybe replacing the fire extinguishers or maybe you do that. They're s fixing something to do with the fire hose. <laughs> or um, a, a fire extinguisher, okay? I'm also feeling that too. Well, I'm not, I'm not feeling it, I'm seeing that image. But I also see um, somebody's doing something with some tools as well. Okay, now that could be you or somebody else. All right, so look, Virgo, I have to show you this. You see on this, you see the dove with the uh, communion, the whole, the wafer there, the cross. Okay, you looking at that? Get a really good look at that. That's a symbol of peace. And that's a symbol of um, a blessing. This is a symbol of life. Well, you also have it there, except there's a shamrock, which is also a symbol of peace. And that is, well, it's a four leaf clover. Um, it's not a trinity, right? But it does represent a cross, okay? So that's the second time. I really feel that that's a um, reiteration to let you know that you are blessed, Virgo. There is a blessing, a blessed union coming towards you, okay? Um, you've got M there. Maybe also the initial T, but there is a blessing of some sort. Okay, um, your plus one is coming into your life. And even for some of you, and, that, and there's another cross there, even for some of you, that might just mean um, reconnecting, making yourself that plus one until the person arrives, right? Uh, there's just a very strong message of faith here very strong message of faith and you know you don't have to be a believer in religion virgo to have faith you can have faith um wherever you are in your world or in your life right so i'm gonna leave that there i like your messages i love i love i i'm almost it's almost hard for me to speak because i cannot believe that this reading came out the way it is this really was in my opinion I mean, I know you guys watch a lot of tarot card readers, and I don't watch a lot of tarot card barely at all. And um, 
<laughs> I'm tooting my horn here, Virgo. I just really like this read this reading for you. And you know, if you know anyone that needs to hear this, definitely, you know, there's a share button. Definitely share it with with a friend or someone that you know needs to hear this and or they just need a little a pick me up of some sort. Um you know. All right. I'm going to leave that there. Again, link in the description box to get a reading with me or Brandy. And I will see you all back here tomorrow for your weekend outlook in love. Okay? So thanks everybody for being in the chat. Don't forget, become a member of the channel. And you can get free readings on Sundays for the price of a cup of coffee each day. Right? They're not really free. It's just that once you become a member, you can pop in the chat on Sundays and ask as many questions as you like. I will be here. All right, you guys. Love you all. Have a great evening. Take care. Bye.